let's start. We have an interesting topic, um, and uh, I, I'm really excited to share it and talk about it. And uh, I feel like these uh, these talks are are really kind of uh, they're they're short. They're just 30 minutes, but I think it's enough to kind of engage kind of an in, in internal discussion or internal um, or meditate on them. So um, uh, hopefully you're getting um, much out of it or something out of it. Um, I'm getting good uh, responses via email, so I'm excited to share. So here, let's let's open the, uh, the conversation and start with the ceremony here. I'm going to just open it for YouTube viewers and for Facebook viewers. So here it is. Um, <clears throat> let me start by just introducing myself. My name is Eli Cohen. I'm a medical Qigong practitioner and energy healing coach. I've been teaching and spreading the words of health and healing uh, for over 10 years, working with people that suffer from chronic health condition heal. And uh, I've started this kind of Chi Talk conversations uh, probably uh, maybe a year now or something like that. Uh, and um, I'm, I'm very excited to, to share it, all, not only in the movement practice and the actual practice that we do, that this is really where you want to find yourself, uh, kind of where the tire meets the road, but kind of share a theoretical background about Chinese medicine, about self-healing that can inspire you to um, to shift your life, to break through old habit patterns and, and things like that. So there's a lot behind the scene, uh, behind the, the movement practice that we are, we are sharing. Uh, so let's start with, before we start, this uh, This talk is going to be about breakthrough um, old habits and I'm going to talk about something that is very, uh, a very Im important piece of uh, the I Ching, the Book of Changes in the Taoist, uh, it's one of the most important books in Taoism and Chinese medicine is built on that. So I'm going to uh, share a little bit uh, from there, hi Corinne. Uh, good to see you. So let's uh, let's drop in. Let's close the eyes and come into the body, if you will, just as an opening ceremony to drop in. And as you close your eyes, you feel the form and shape of your body as you sit here now. And let's take together a few deep breaths. Inhale through the nose and exhale through the mouth. And as you're inhaling through the nose, look at where the, where the breath goes to. Does it go to the chest? Where in your body you're inhaling to? Just notice when I say inhale deeply, like where do you go? And see if you can shift it to breathe a little deeper into the lower abdomen. Into the lower back. If you are a Qigong practitioner, you know what I'm talking. Inhaling into the lower back, lower abdomen, the entire girdle vessel. And see if you can move the breath in that way that the beginning of the inhalation would be in the lower abdomen, lower back. And then as you go through the inhalation, it climbs up to the chest and the heart. And exhale and let it all go away from the mouth and you can allow yourself to make a sigh as you in exhale and as you exhale I want you to incorporate this Taoist idea of what what we call in Chinese we call it song la which means sinking down or relaxation so song la means relaxation like relax muscular tension, but also mean sinking down, meaning giving way to gravity. So inhale in this fashion, like a lower abdomen, ribcage chest, long ex and then exhalation, while you're giving way to gravity, visualize all the energy from the brain dropping to the ground and to the floor and below the floor, the earth itself, few feet down. 
And if you have pain anywhere in the body or some discomfort, visualize that energy drop down to the floor and the ground and dissolve as well. So, so giving way to gravity, the sinking down means not only relaxation of the muscular system, but also relaxation of the heart, relaxation and actually visualizing, visualizing the energy going down from the brain down towards the earth. As you're having this intimate connection with the earth, as you're breathing up from it into the lower belly, ribcage, chest, as you exhale and give all your tension down into it, really deep down, and dissolve and emptying yourself, so to speak. Exhale from the mouth and make the exhalation a little longer than the inhalation. A little longer and exhale now all the way out, all the way out. So in the end of the exhalation, there's no more air in your lungs. See what it does if you really empty all the way out, what it does to the inhalation. So I like, I really uh, enjoyed starting this ceremony. Continue like that. Yeah, just um, I'm going to talk, but you're going to continue this breathing, please. Just starting the ceremony with the breath, because as we shift from, from summer to fall, the really important piece is the breath. Yeah, in Chinese medicine, we switch our energy, and the breath helps facilitate transitioning. Also transitioning between work and pleasure and whatever we want to transition to. Let's uh, finish this ceremony by bringing both hands to the heart. And visualize the heart as a, as a kid of yours, as a special baby. And finally, you can look into your heart with eyes closed and see the smile of this baby heart. And as a giggling baby heart, and you smile back to it. Just visualize. Feeling any emotion in the heart, embracing any feeling sensations in the heart center as you keep appreciating and smiling into your heart both listening and smiling at the same time So let's open the hands to the side, palm face the front, opening the eyes. Beautiful. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me. It's a heart meditation and a breath meditation. It's so nice. So what I wanted to talk to you about today is a very interesting uh, concept uh, the, in the I Ching, in the Book of Changes. You know, I remember because I was really engaged with this sentence and there was a talk that I was listening to, this uh, Taoist priest talking about it. And I was like really engaged with it and it was about, about how to change your personality. <laughs> And it was the the whole seminar was about about uh, shift like these masters really help people heal from a really serious 
uh, chronic health conditions. So you're talking about people that are handicapped or have a severe cancer or all kinds of things that we're talking about. Um, and they talking about how to change your personality. And I was like, what? <laughs> Why a person needs to change in personality? This is many years ago. And, and they say that in the I Ching, it says that like humans can do all kinds of things, like move mountains and divert rivers even. They can divert rivers. We know that we people divert rivers and c cut mountains and do all kinds of things. But they say one thing is very hard and it's to change your character. Much harder than moving mountains and divert rivers is to change your own character, to change your personality. And, uh, and I thought, well, that's very true, you know, and, uh, and how we come back into our, into our triggers and in how we respond to life is what makes us who we are. Yeah, and there's a saying that you are not your body, and you're not even your mind. You are not this body and you're not even your mind. It's not yours, it's not you, whatever you call you or me or myself. So it's a very deep discussion, philosophical discussion, but really the work in this particular uh, lineage of uh, Qigong, <clears throat> uh, medical Qigong is really, uh, it's really about practice. It's not about philosophy and talking, but that was a talk and I kind of wanted to share why do we need to change our personality for for to heal and specifically if we're talking about a big shift a big breakthrough in in our health and how do we change our personality and why do we need to change our personality so first <clears throat> let's see so there's there's a talk and i i i entered it in the email that i sent everybody about feeling and thinking and these are very important things between uh, between the body and the mind. Yeah. So thinking is from the cerebral, and then and then emotions are connected to sensation in the body. Yes. So when you have an emotion, it's really what it is. It's it's feeling. We feel it in the body. It's it's an energy that moves through the body, that it translates from this how we perceive uh, stimuli. So what happened? We we are. We have our five senses <clears throat> and we get stimulation from the environment. Somebody says something, we hear a plane in the sky, we look at the flower, we hear a thunder, we look at the rain. <clears throat> yeah, it's cold, it's hot. So we just, we, we're just, uh, our five senses are in touch with the environment and we get all these stimuli. And the stimuli, and what happens with the stimuli is that we get translate, we evaluate, and we get, and in nanosecond, we get an emotional reaction. <clears throat> Somebody shout at us something not nice, <laughs> and we get upset. Yeah, so that happens really quickly. We get, we get, uh, we hear something or we see something. It gets it, it gets uh, evaluated in our energy system. And we have an emotional response and a reaction. And that happens in a nanosecond. <clears throat> and we, e each one of us, responding differently to stimuli. Yeah? Some people are, are, are in traffic, sitting in traffic, and late for a meeting, and, uh, and it's, it's a big traffic. And they get really upset and banging on the steering wheel. Other people are just turning on the music, calling a friend and having a good conversation. And everybody respond to 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 everybody respond to things differently, and this is what, uh, in a big scheme, this is what your 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 values, your principles that you live by, and we get very attached to them. That's a very important piece. We get very attached to physical sensations, right? Pain, we don't like it. Pleasure, we like very much, we want more of it. So we get very attached to sensation, but we get also very attached to emotions. And we get very attached to our beliefs, yeah? If our political party didn't win, we're going to be really upset. <laughs> but that's just a belief. This is your belief, your principles, and you get very, very attached to them. The more attachment you have, you have towards your, the three Dantians, we call it, yeah? Uh, beliefs and thoughts. 
like, you know, like your favorite basketball team or your political party that you get very attached to or your principle, any principles that you have that you think this is good or this is bad. The more we are judging, the more we are uh, very harsh on judgment, the more we attached to our principle and core values. Is it good? Is it bad? It's interesting. So this is the talk today. And then we have very attached to our emotional. Yeah, we don't like to be sad. We don't like to be. We like always to, we always on the lookout for pleasure, for joy. And we attach to our, the, the, forehand, the, the lower dantian is the sensation, the body sensation, pain or pleasure. So, and these, and how to break this pattern, how to change this pattern is about changing your character, changing your personality. How do we respond to life differently? And, and this takes a lot of perseverance, but it actually uh, is down to uh, a, a few practices that are just, you take them on the go kind of thing. Is, uh, and, and it's a practices of mindfulness. And what's nice about Qigong in the practice is we working on, we're working on calming and elevating the heart and calming the nervous system. And through this, through this uh, 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 process, we can also change, change how we see things. But it's also always very interesting to uh, play with the idea, how can I respond to things differently? How can, like, like what would it take to, because why, why is it very important to healing? Let me back up. Sorry, I'm already going for the, <laughs> for the answer, but backing up. So that's the makeup of who you are, is how much you're attached to your, what is your principles and core values, and how much you are attached to them that you judge so, so harshly. Yeah. If you look at, at kids, they're not so much judgy. They're very curious. They're very open. They just, and this is what makes things very malleable. So how can we, and, and they learn very fast, and they heal very fast. Yeah, so why is it important to, when you want to heal, to change your personality per the I Ching, per the, in the Book of Changes? Because you want to be energetically here, but you're right now here, but you want to be somewhere else energetically. You don't want to have this cancer or you whatever, whatever you want to heal. Well, your vibration, every emotions, every, every whatever filters through your system, you produce a vibration that is based on your principal ideas uh, and emotions that that are being emitted through through the five senses. You get the you get the sensation, you get the uh, exposure to the outside elements immediately in the nanoseconds. You have a translation and an emotional reaction, right? And it's always going the same groove. You grooving, grooving, grooving deeper and deeper into the rock. The, the the what you believe in and what and and you you uh, emit this vibration your relationship with your spouse your relationship to work your whatever you do how how can we heal we have to break down this carving on the rock very deeply and how can we do it there's many many easy ways to do it and and again why do we need to do it because to heal you need to change your vibration you cannot do you cannot repeat the same vibration and wanting to be somewhere else cuz you are not there energetically you're not in alignment with that energy so if i want to be uh i don't know what um uh if i want to be somewhere else energetically i crave that place well i'm not there energetic i need to match my energy first and then it will arrive then it will come naturally. It would, it would actually, it would actually come uh, in my laps immediately if I change my energy first. So this whole talk in the Western world about motivation and motivation and be persistent. First, we have to change our energy. And how do we do that? <clears throat> so there's many, 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 many ways to. From, we can talk about it from many angles. And again. This is why I started talking. This is only a 30-minute conversation, but to change things, first of all, to change habits, 
to change yeah you you going to work you come back you open your door you're in the same place you're cooking the same food at the same time you're sleeping you're you're thinking the same thing and at, at night time you watch you're looking at your iPhone for a little bit and you close the same apps first of all the thing to do is to change things to start to shift things I don't know if you notice but if you go on vacation or you live somewhere else for a while like for a few months things starting to shift sometimes people heal even yeah you know, I remember these stories about people getting like a news that they have six months to live or whatnot and that they decide to go on a big trip and that they they live longer than six months <laughs> well so what something change you change your energy emission the, the emission of your energy based on your yeah you exposed to different things and and you do it kind of like but you can do it from within yourself with with yourself is what I'm saying and then you and that's that's really the work of changing so changing the personality means changing the way you judge things the way you you know and 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 it's it's about three things three steps it's a three-step process acknowledging especially triggers I get I, I see something and I'm like oh I don't like this and first of all acknowledge the trigger and then ch- the second step is changing the response choosing a different response so first of all is acknowledging as a moment of mindfulness and look how I respond to the look at my really questioning everything questioning and really be mindful and then the second is to change it just to change it for the sake of changing it see if you can change it and then the third is to repeat repeat again 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 so these are the three uh, the three steps to <laughs> for for change and Yeah, and this is more uh, more uh, working with this with the consciousness this is called Shen gong right we have Qi gong and we have Shen gong so Shen gong is more about <clears throat> working with the consciousness <clears throat> and that's you do all the time and then the Qi gong is working with the body working with the sensation and that's really really important so in Qi gong we, we do both in the classes we do both and You know I started to incorporate actually more of this stuff especially in the morning practice if you uh, look on some of this as to to connect with where do you want to shift your life in the morning is a very good time to do that so join the morning Qigong and see see how we do it in practice how we regulate first the breath how we elevate the heart you have to do some things before you shift that's a, a really nice way to do it but if you're talking about just in general for people you For the general public is like these three steps and and really to change and and the easiest and, and another one is what I talked before is to change your routine to change things that you do regularly <laughs> to change them up to not look at your phone before going to bed or to whatever it is uh, to change some things to do something different and and you're starting to you're starting to shift you're starting to shift and so and so uh, changing the personnel changing the way we, we respond to stimuli uh, is this uh, three 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 step three step uh, solution that you always have to be uh, mindful of uh, but working with the body working with the sensation is also part of it so we we have emotions that are body related and we have a thoughts and belief that are more cerebral uh, thought related so I just I can talk about it much more and give much more examples and thing but I, I just see that it's um, I kind of talked a lot for the 30 minutes <laughs> and I wanted to open it to you guys to see what do you have to say add you anything that you think would be appropriate here for this conversation and Or a question that you think uh, would help here so I wanted to open it to you and first uh, before I do I just want to acknowledge you thank you so much for coming here these conversation become uh, more popular and people really appreciate them and by the way they all be going to be transcribing to the podcast awaken the healer within all right who wants to 
kind of delve into this topic a little bit or have questions? What do we think? <laughs> Marty, go ahead. I don't hear you. Do you hear Marty? You hear me now? Oh yeah, I hear you, yeah. <laughs> so this is an interesting subject because uh, a lot of a lot of things that you that I find that, that I do in my life or with uh, people that I'm associating with, really changing myself and then watching how the rest of the world changes around me. Because we're all kind of living in different times right now. I mean, new meetings are the normal now. We're all like switching into this new kind of like lifestyle. Um, I know when I've tried to lose weight, you know, sometimes you can't do the same thing over and over and over again and expect the same results. When you do that shift, that something happens. Um, even with family, as everybody is now living in different times, trying to navigate their lives, families with kids, us who are retired, uh, what's the right decision? Sometimes it's I know that when I just sit in my silence for a little bit, the shift comes. And you're right, we do, we have a morning routine, we have the afternoon routine. Sometimes if we just shift that around, it plays better in the body. The body responds with the passion. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, you're a little chop. Uh, everybody here, Marty, all the way, or a little choppy, huh? So, so, okay. <laughs> but I, I got, I got most of it. I got most of it. Uh, okay, Dan is, is was that a thumb up, Dan? Okay, yeah. Okay, all right. Well, thank you, Marty. Thank you. I, I, I hear what you're saying. Uh, there are some ideas that I, uh, it was a little choppy, but uh, in, in general, I, I see what you're saying. You're basically saying that, uh, yeah, this time is challenging, and uh, right, and uh, and you basically uh, agree with 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 this shifting, shifting the uh, shifting something in in your daily routine could yield uh, results. Is that what you were saying? Is that basically, yeah? Uh, okay. Anybody else wants to wants to chime in? Uh, Gail, go ahead. I want to point out what you said a long time ago. You said, I have nothing to hide and nothing to prove. And that spoke to my heart because as I navigate age, and I think that we change as we go through various plateaus in life, um, one of the phrases that I remember is you cannot change anything from the same mindset that created it. So it's important to change your mindset, which is exactly what you're speaking to. And the mindset as you navigate through life with awareness does change because you are not the person you were when you were in your 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s. It's I look in the mirror and I, oh my God, I'm watching myself degrade. And then I say, wait a minute, how do you feel about yourself? And I look and I say, you know, I love myself because I work so hard to get where I am. And so this gives me an appreciation of you and so many others. Beautiful. Oh, nice. Beautiful. I feel the energy behind your words. That was powerful. Thank you, Gail. That was really, really powerful. Uh, I love it. <laughs> Go ahead, Edward. So, again, thank you for this, and thank you, Gail, again, for what you just said. So, uh, I've done consulting, and it's called Wise Advice, 180 Degrees in the Other Direction. And every time you keep on doing this and it just doesn't work, it's just go 180 degrees. Don't even think about, uh, oh, this won't work, it will work. I can't do that. That's not the way I am. That's really changing your personality. Uh, well, you can't cure cancer. Oh, yes, you can, <laughs> you know? And, you know, I've mentioned before, if a doctor says something to me, I go, I don't have that, and I don't. 
and it disappears. Mm -hmm. And even from having hepatitis and having it disappear within a day. Fact, real. And I've learned, you know, to do that. And we know the saying is you keep on doing the same thing the same way, you get the same results. And we want the results of being open, free, change your personality, change your thoughts. And thinking is the lowest form of our ability. It's not the truth. You know, it's like, oh, the doctor said I have cancer. Well, oh, that's going to be terrible. I can't do that. I can't travel. I can't, I can't change things. Just go 180 degrees and start telling yourself, I can do that. People have done that. You just said it. You know, they said they have six months to live and they went traveling. And two years later, they're still traveling. <laughs> you know, so it's really just go 180 degrees the other way to change your personality. Mm -hmm. And don't even get involved in thought. I can't do that. Mm -hmm. What Ellie's saying, it's not real. You, can, you can't heal yourself. And you've seen so many people heal in front of you. Yeah. And it's getting them to change their mindset change their pers personality so thank you for reinforcing that for me beautiful thank you thank you guys and uh and uh you know and and do something that you are not usually doing like if you never danced in your own room with music by yourself just put on music and dance and if it's really hard for you that's even better that's even better so if you break through some of your limited, uh, you know, if things are even harder to do, just do them. Just do something that you usually don't do. Break through uh, some of your habits uh, towards joy, towards love, towards uh, uh, self-love, and and uh, and that's really that's really kind of beginning from, uh, you know, I, I just took it from that seminar of uh, of uh, changing your healing is about changing your personality changing who you are from who you are to really where you want to be how do you want to be like a child you know the the lao tzu which is wrote the 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 dao de ching the most important thing in the dao is <coughs> lao tzu the name lao tzu his name is the, the wise the wise man but the the child wise man so he as he aged and become very very old he's actually become more of a child and that's kind of like really uh, uh really very Taoist thing so it's like how can we keep our curiosity our playfulness our joy like uh fashion as we get older so lao tzu the, the name lao tzu actually means the wise the wise uh child men uh so so that's uh uh so if we can come back to our childhood <laughs> in that way that would be that would be beautiful Okay, thank you guys so much for joining this conversation. And uh, I hope that inspires you to, to look at your reaction to life in a different way, to your reaction to things in a different way. And how can you, uh, this is something that is always dear to me, how can you be a childlike? How can you dance in front of a mirror? How can you, I, and I love what Gail said, that I love myself and I look at myself, you know, it's just, you know, and, and, um, yeah, to do it and and break through through mindfulness through these three steps that I mentioned, uh, and I'll see you in class because we're working on these topics with the body, with the breath, and with with our with our shen gongs, and where I'm incorporating it more and more in the classes. So I'd love to see you also coming to class. All right, let's close this. Uh, this talk uh, with uh, a little bit of meditation, uh, kind of another ceremony. Let's bring the hands now, uh, kind of like up uh, here, and the hands are going to be open to the sky above you. So I'm just I'm just lifting it so you can see me, but I can you put the hands a little bit down so it's more comfortable. The shoulders are relaxed, the palm facing up, and opening your attention. To the space above you to the space above your head above your ceiling of your house and all the way to the blue sky above and as you lift the hands few inches upwards the palm facing up 
you're connecting with the heavenly energy, which is inspiration, creativity, and uh, allows us to make shift in our life. And as you drop the hands a few inches down, you receive the energy. Yeah, so opening, lifting the hands up, connecting with the heavenly energy above you, whatever that means to you, whatever you need to shift in your life. It's like you're talking to, uh, to the angels, yeah, and you bring the hands down, receiving the blessing from the top down. Opening and receiving. So you're making a connection with the heavens, with the energy above you. And bring to your hands the energy of openness, of freedom, of thinking, freedom of thought, freedom of choosing. When we're connecting with the heavens is an is a open space, open space that we can put space between our emotions, between what we feel, between what we think. Putting a little bit more space would allow us to respond differently. Putting more breath between the thoughts, between what we feel. Yeah, so open to that spaciousness and bring it. And then in one movement, we're gonna bring the hands to the heart center and the lungs and just pulse here and just yeah, so move the hands towards the heart, towards the chest, and away. And see that you are putting space in the heart, putting space in your lungs. And really, if we allow ourselves to put space, spaciousness, between what we feel throughout the day, what we think throughout the day, we can really go through this uh, three-step uh, process that I mentioned. So let's bring the hands into the throat too, and pulse here at the throat center, and put space between our words. Just kind of see that we can you know, just talk without thinking from our habit pattern, but just kind of see what we want to put out, what words we want to put out, how can we express ourselves better. And let's bring the hands to the head and put space between our principles and values. And just to kind of think, rethink, re- ponder and change our responses that we typically do just for the fun of it just for to see how we can shift our energy and lower the hands down into your laps into your legs massage your knees <laughs> bring the energy here Nice. Let's open the hands, open the eyes. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I hope you get a lot out of it. I uh, really appreciate it. Yeah, Kareem, thank you. Dan, thank you, everybody. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it. <laughs> Thanks. See you guys in class tomorrow. <laughs> Bye.